Well, we are finally here. It's officially the 2024 presidential election day after what has seemed to be the longest campaign lead up. We've got Democratic nominee Kamala Harris and the Republican Party's Donald Trump racing closer to the White House, trying to become the 47th president of the United States. But how close are we to finding out? Well, polls start closing at 6 p.m. Eastern time in eastern Kentucky and much of Indiana, and then consecutively for the next four hours, states will close their polls until the final ones, Hawaii and most of Alaska, stop at midnight Eastern time. So what's it looking like now? Well, over 80 million Americans have already voted before Election Day, and the first results are actually already in. The tiny town of Dixville Notch in New Hampshire have cast their ballots when the clock struck midnight on Tuesday in what is a decades-old ceremony. This tiny town situated near the Canadian border only has six registered voters for the 2024 election. The results? Well, it was a tie. Three votes for Donald Trump and three votes for Kamala Harris. The Dixville Notch residents all gathered together before midnight to privately cast their ballots hand counted them and then read the results out loud. At the Republican primary election in July, all six of the voters actually rallied behind Nikki Haley when she was still on the race. Historically, residents in the town, which was actually bigger than six, seem to have handed the Democrats their votes since about 2008, but has still been relatively close. Now let's get into the latest polling to see how the rest of the country is feeling and where they're leaning towards. While there has been so many polls conducted, most of them remain tight and competitive. 538's final poll of the race has Harris winning 50 times out of 100 and Trump winning 49 times out of 100. Morning Consult poll has Harris leading 49% to Trump's 47%. Atlas Intel has Harris on 48%, Trump on 49%, while Reuters Ipsos poll has Harris on 50% and Trump on 48%. OK, but what about the swing states, the seven states in the US that could decide this election? The final New York Times and Siena College poll had both candidates neck and neck. In Nevada, Harris leads on 49% while Trump sits on 46%. In North Carolina, Harris leads 48% with Trump on 46%. In Wisconsin, Harris on 49%, Trump on 47%. In Georgia, Harris leads by 1% while Trump sits on 47%. In Pennsylvania, the two are tied on 48% and tied again on 47% in Michigan. While Trump leads in Arizona on 49% and Harris sits on 45%. So who is going to win the election of all elections? Well, viral hippo Mu Dang picked Donald Trump when presented with the two options made out of fruit at her zoo in Thailand. The campaigning is now over for Kamala Harris and Donald Trump and the end is near and the messages have been delivered. Both candidates took to their respective stages, Trump in Grand Rapids in Michigan and Harris in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to speak for the last time before voters took to the polls. Let's take a look at some of these final pitches, starting with Donald Trump who told the crowd what they will be telling Harris tomorrow. Tomorrow you have to stand up and tell Kamala that you've had enough, you can't take anymore. You just can't. What? They're all screaming, fire, a place get him. I mean, she's, what a terrible job, what they have done to our country. And you're going to say that to her. You're going to say, you've done a terrible job, you're grossly incompetent, we're not going to take it anymore. Kamala, you're fired. Get the hell out. Get the hell out of here. You're out of here. Get out of here. Trump brought three of his children and his daughter-in-law on stage for their last moments before the big day. Who else could have this many people at 2 a.m.? Only Donald Trump. 
Guys, I've watched the hell that they put him through for the last 10 years. I mean, the fake impeachments, the dossiers, the Russia hoax, going after his Supreme Court justices, censoring him, taking away his First Amendment right, trying to take him off the ballots in various states all across the country, raiding his home. And yet he comes out every single day and he fights and he fights and he fights. So my father has never stopped and he will never stop working for you guys. So let's get out there. Let's vote for prosperity. Let's vote for the future that we want to have for our children and for our future generations. Thank you. You've lived under both candidates. People like to pretend like it's not the Harris-Biden regime that has destroyed your American dream, our country, our economy, the entire world, and Western civilization. Well, you guys, starting right now, it's on you to reclaim what is yours, your country. So there you have it, the final messages of the Trump campaign telling voters it's now over to you. So what about Camp Harris? Well, it was a star-studded event for the Veep, who had Oprah, Lady Gaga and Ricky Martin all on stage to join her. However, the race ain't over yet <laughs> and we must finish strong and this could be, this could be one of the closest races in history. And some stern words for Oprah Winfrey to the crowd. If we don't show up tomorrow, it is entirely possible that we will not have the opportunity to ever cast a ballot again. The Democrats nominee finished her last speech with some parting words. So tonight I ask you one last time, are you ready to make your voices heard? Do we believe in freedom? Do we believe in opportunity? Do we believe in the promise of America? And are we ready to fight for it? And when we fight, we win. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Other moments from the day captured the internet, such as podcaster and former Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly taking to the Trump stage for her endorsement. He got mocked by the left for saying he would be a protector of women. He will be a protector of women, and it's why I'm voting for him. He will close the border. He will keep the boys out of girls' sports and where they don't belong. And you know what else? One more thing. He will look out for our boys, too. Our forgotten boys and our forgotten men. Guys like you. Guys like these guys. While ex-owner Elon Musk went on Joe Rogan's show, where the two discussed the fate of this presidential election. Um, I think this was the last election. If, if Trump doesn't win, this is the last election. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think... People and a lot of people are waking up and realize that that have been lifelong Democrats, guys like Bill Ackman, guys like Chamath, yeah, exactly. you know, Tulsi Gabbard switched over to the Republicans. Yep. Like there's a lot of people who their whole life they've been left wing and they realize like I can't do this anymore. You and I used to be Democrats. Yeah. So yeah. Both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris's team released their final campaign videos out to social media. Do we believe in the promise of a The people dreamed this country, and it's the people who are making America great again. Back.